This is our three-point equation calculator for OmassCelebrity.com. Two ways you can get there. You can type three-point equation, or even faster, you can type your three points like so. And when you're ready, you press the calculator or return key. And so you're going to get a choice, because we've actually got two lessons that use uh, three two-dimensional points. We're going to choose the second one, calculate the second degree equation formed by these three points. So go ahead and press this link. So what we do first is we need to form 12 letter variables. So it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and I, J, K, L. So A is always our, or B is, our, B is our X coordinate of 6. Very simple. A is just B squared. So 6 squared is 36. C is always 1. And D is our Y coordinate of 11. So now we do E, F, G, H. Again, we're going to take the same exact steps, but we're going to use point 2. So F is just 2. E is F squared, which is 4, G is 1, and H is 3, our Y coordinate. Finally, I, J, K, L, same exact steps with point 3. J is just our X coordinate of 6, I is J squared, 36, K is 1, and L is our Y coordinate of 11. So we've got our 12 letters, that's great. Now what we're going to do is we're going to run Kramer's rule. And here's the formula. So step 1, we need to calculate delta. So delta is this this formula here with our letters. So we go ahead and drop in our numbers. As you can see, so here's L and I'm sorry, here's F. F is 2 and you can see that we plugged in 2 for F. So we go ahead, plug, plug and chug, simplify, delta is 128. That's great. So now step 2, we're going to calculate the A numerator. So here's the letter formula. Plug in our numbers simplify and we get our numerator of a numerator 96. I need to change these here to a. Finally the b numerator this formula here plug and chug from our letters simplify and we got negative 512 and c numerator here's our letter formula plug chug and evaluate and here's our answer. So now we got all our pieces so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to calculate A. A is just the A numerator we calculated up here, 96, divided by our delta, which is 128. We get 3 quarters or 0.75. For B, we're going to take our B numerator, which we calculated here, negative 5, 12, and divide by delta, that's negative 4. Finally, the C numerator, which is 1024, divide that by delta, we get 8. So now that we have our A, B, and C values, we plug in our equation. And our equation is always ax squared plus bx plus c. So we take our a, b, and c values, plug them in, and we get our equation. So once you do the Kramer's rule math here, a couple of steps. Once you get your a, b, and c, you're off and running. So pretty simple. So that's pretty much it. You've got a generate practice problem button. You press that once. You get three completely random points. Press it again. You get three more completely random points. Press it one more time. Again, a random problem. So when you're ready to run it, you can press Calculate Equation, and it'll run your practice problem for you. So we get a delta value, x, a, b, and c. This problem has decimals. Sometimes they have integers. So you get a, b, and c, plug it in, and there's your answer. So you can keep pressing that button as many times as you want to kind of test your skill set. That's pretty much it. If you got any questions or enhancement suggestions, please use the contact us link. Thanks for watching.